Ross Chastain in the one, doing whatever he can to try and stay alive and hope that he has a chance. But everybody that he's surrounded by on fresh tyres, here we go. Gibbs on that high line, Larson on the low line. Briscoe feels he has a chance. Gibbs is looking good on points to make it. Briscoe wants to race his way in like Chastain does. Here goes Briscoe on the inside. The big move from Chase Briscoe. This could be the difference between making the playoffs or not. Wow. The one of Chastain got an amazing start, better than I expected. 54 kind of paid that off, but what a move by the 14 down the back stretch. That was epic. Chastain did a great job of keeping speed into that restart zone, still falling back on those old tires. But look at Kyle Busch and that A-car. Briscoe trying to check out, but Kyle Busch, he wants to play. Ever uh, since the Olympic break, RCR has been getting better. Lee, could it be Busch's day? We haven't seen him most of the night. He was on that strategy earlier of Denny Hamlin, but just not as effective to get as high up the order as Denny was. And look at this, three wide. Wow, we got a caution. Multi-car incident. Ty Gibbs, Josh Berry, Bubba Wallace, it's over. Wallace's playoff hopes. Bush is trying to dodge the carnage. William Byron's car is torn apart. And Noah Gregson in it as well. How badly damaged is that 23? Are the playoff hopes over or not? This is far from ideal for Bubba Wallace. The good news is it's rolling. He didn't have to get assistance back. All four tires aired up. Took a really big shot. Square to the bumper, you all right? Square to the bumper is actually better. The weakness on this car is really the right and left rear toe link as far as mechanically. Now, without a doubt, Arrow has got major issues. But the first thing is, can you complete laps? Because Busher still has to finish this race as well. Watch this. How did it unfold? Josh Berry pushing his way through the middle of Denny Hamlin and Ty Gibbs. Keep watching it. Yeah, three wide into turn one at Darlington never works. It's just not enough room. Somebody had to lift there. Josh Berry extremely aggressive shooting the middle here. And it's just too, too, too wide through there, Steve, is difficult. And now they just all stack into each other. And Bubba Wallace was doing a really nice job, some front-end contact, but then Noah Gregson, nowhere to go. He was the one that made the heavy contact to the back of the 23. So you see right here, flames out the pipes. He's on the brakes, some front-end contact, but I don't think this was enough to kind of end it, right? You're going to see him run into the 24. I mean, it's not great, but then right there, the big shot by the 10. It looks so easy in slow motion, what you could do different. Let's ride on board. Even the front end contact, you saw the hood buckle. So, you know, the damage probably a little more severe than I initially thought. And while we've been consumed with where Bubba Wallace has been and Chris Busher for that final spot, what changed the whole complexion of it was Chase Briscoe with the move of the race. Look at Michael Jordan's reaction here when he saw Bubba right in the middle of all of that. Yeah, he knows what that means. But to your point, Diff, you know, a 14 win, Briscoe win. It takes this away. Yeah, this yeah. whole conversation's a moot point at that. Because the 54 of Ty Gibbs, who was also involved in that, would get that 16th and final position.